Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my August TBR. I can't believe it is August already. Well, it's not quite, but it's when you're seeing this video, it'll probably be close to August or August. And so I can't believe we've made it. We're this far into the year. We're well over halfway. And so let's just do this TBR. Here at my July TBR. No. Did I, I did not read all of it. I don't know how many books I initially pulled, but I still have four left and I'm not going to finish them by the end of the month because I'm just not in the mood for some of them. So I know I will not be finishing July's TBR, but that is okay. I do not do punishments for not reading my, finishing my TBR because this is all just for fun and I am just trying to give you a rough idea of what I plan on reading and this is not to be taken too seriously. So let's just get started with my TBR jar and I don't know how many prompts we're going to pull this month but we'll just see how many feels right. So here is our first one. We have new to you author. Okay I have so many options for this one. I've recently really been in my romance era so I'm thinking of romance. Um, I'm going to go with If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. This is like a Cinderella retelling and it's about like a bachelor show and the hero, the heroine is plus sized and this is just a contemporary romance. Um, it says if the shoe doesn't fit, maybe it's time to design your own. So first book on the TBR. Okay, next prompt is going to be this one what is it gifted so a book that was gifted to me um what books have been gifted to me um okay so i do love a good colleen hoover book and i have one that was gifted to me but i could go with is there anything else i have that was gifted to me i have that but i'm not really in a fantasy mood recently are those the only things that were gifted to me have I read every? Oh no, I have these. Um, yeah, I should go with this. I'm gonna go with, oh, just let me get it here. It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy. And this is what the second season that is currently streaming, like is currently coming out, is about. And I've watched the show all that's out right now, which is the first four episodes. And so I'm so excited to read this and I'm also really nervous because I'm a Conrad girl for life. I team Conrad all the way. So I'm very nervous because obviously in this book and this season of the show, um, he's not being the best. So, you know, I'm still going to defend him with my life though. I love that. That boy is amazing. Anyways, so next prompt. Oh my God. Prompts are falling out. What's this? Black cover. Okay, let's see. To be honest, I don't have too many, but I think I know the one I'm gonna go with. Um, is this black or is this gray? It's like half black, half gray. You know what? I'm gonna see what other options I have. I have some horror, I could do that. Could read Breaking Dawn, but that's just a chunker and I'm not really in that mood. Uh, you know what? We're going to consider this black enough because it's my rules, my game, my rules. So we're going to read Bared to You by Sylvia Day. Heard a lot of people talk about this. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to have some trigger warnings. Um, not sure what they are, but this is a dark romance. And so a lot of people read this. It's quite an older book, I think, like 2014. Let me try and find the publication date 2012 so yeah but I'm still excited to get to this so so far we have like a romance contemporary TBR going which I love because it's summer um so let's just pick another prompt let's go with this one and this is gonna ruin that vibe and it is horror so do I only have two horror books I think well that's kind of horror it says I'm going to go with a Dean Koontz book, though, and this one is one that my stepdad has been like, you have to read this book, because um, he loves it, and it is Dark Fall by Dean Koontz, 
So I'm going to be reading this one. Um, I don't know anything about this. I just know it's Dean Koontz and he's my favorite horror author. So we're going to put this one on the TPR. Okay, another prompt. Let's go with this one. It feels good. Author you've read before. Okay. I feel like this we could do Colleen Hoover for. Um, what else do I want to do? Um, there's several authors I could pick from. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to go with author I read from before. Okay, so I do want to finish a lot of series this year. So a lot of them are fantasy series though, but I feel like this one was on my July TBR and it is middle grade and it ends the series for me. So I'm going to try and finish it. I'm going to read it in August. And that is The Last Olympian, the last book in the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I've read the other four. This is the only one I have left to go and it will complete a series for me. So hopefully I can get into fantasy enough to read this in August. Okay, so we've got five books. Let's do three more. Let's do eight books because I usually read about that many in a month. So it gives me some options. Start a series. Not what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, start a series. Is there any series I have the first book that I'm really interested in? No, that's fantasy. A lot of things are fantasy. Um, um, I believe this is the first book, but I could be wrong. But it comes before the other book I have, and I, th I think this is the first book. I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go with this. This is A Lady's Guide to, Eti to Etiquette and Murder. This is a historical um, murder mystery. And I know nothing about this, but I got it for really cheap at the thrift store. So I'm really interested. And I do have the second book as well. So hopefully I enjoy these. These are by Diane Freeman. So this one is going to go on the TBR. Two more prompts left to go. Two more books. Let's go Romance always a good one. I'm always in the mood for a good romance. So I have some, well actually not so many, but I have quite a few options. I think I know which one I'm going to go with though. I'm going to go with one that I've wanted to read for a little while. Um, and that is going to be, oh my god, let's move you over. Sorry about that terrible angle. Um, because you can see the book stack right there. Like what? Um, the Sea Witch by Katie Robert. This is a dark romance. I'm sure this has trigger warnings. Um, does it say anything in the front of the book? Oh my gosh, she's written so many books. But no, it doesn't. This is a dark romance. It's a Little Mermaid retelling. And it takes place at a sex club is what this whole series is based around. I have not read any of the other books in the series. But they are all interconnected standalones. And this one is about like the Ariel character, Ursula character, and Eric character, and the three of them in a sexual relationship. So that is what this one is about, and I'm excited to read this. I've heard very mixed things about this series, and this book in particular, but I did get it for a really good price at the thrift store, so I am definitely looking forward to reading it. And the last one for this TBR is going to be this one. I can feel it. It's a good one. Blue cover. Okay, what has a blue cover? I could do Truly Devious. I could do Shipwrecked by Olivia Dade. Um, I could do Breathless, The Girlfriend. There's so many options. I think I want to save Truly Devious for like spooky season. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with The Transatlantic Book Club by Felicity Hayes McCoy. And this one has Blue Sky. And that book is kind of like greeny blue. Um, maybe it's more green. I don't know. But it's got blue. It gives summer vibes. And I'm going to go with this one. So that is my TBR. Let me just show you again. Can you even see them? There we go. That's my TBR for this month. I'm going to do a quick run through just so you guys can get refreshed on what every book was. The Transatlantic Book Club. The Sea Witch. A Lady's Guide to Etiquette and Murder, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian, Dark Fall, Bared to You, It's Not Summer Without You, and If the Shoe Fits. So that is my 
August TBR. I almost said July. My August TBR. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, let me know what book you are most excited to get to in August and leave me a blue heart emoji. And thank you guys so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all next time.